with Robert De Laurentiis, who is doing a pole-to-pole -pole flight around the world. And I'd like you to explain to our viewers what that is and why you're doing it. Well, we're basically taking a Turbine Commander 900, a Twin Commander, and modifying it to do a very specialized mission. And there's many reasons for doing it. One of them is we're setting speed and distance records over the poles, but we're also showcasing aviation safety and technology. The NGT 9000 is an integral part of that because we'll be tracked globally for the first time in the history of man or woman using ADSB out. And the information will be uploaded using the diversity antenna to the satellites, the 66 Iridium Next satellites, and then Ariane will take that information and eventually it makes it to FlightAware. But it's also a world peace mission because the North and South Poles are the only places on the planet where peace has always existed. So to connect the North and the South and everybody in between on a mission of global peace is a very cool thing. We're also carrying an experiment for NASA and filming a documentary in 8K. And we'll have aerial photo shoots over the North and South Pole. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll have aerial photo shoots over Alaska, Southern California, on the outbound leg uh, out of Chile, and then also in Switzerland. Oh, wow. How long, now, how long is it going to take you to do this flight? Well, the plane flies right now modified about 318 knots true, but that's not really the thing that's going to drive the trip. It takes about six months for the temperatures to reverse at the poles, so the summer in Antarctica is our winter, and it'll take about six months until that shifts to the North Pole. So during that trip along the way, I'll be stopping and lecturing for different organizations, the Women in Aviation, um, the Explorers Club, AOPA, and also some um, uh, offices for the United Nations associations around the world. Very cool. Yeah. How many stops then? Uh, roughly 26 stops, uh, roughly 26 countries. Right now, you know, we have a rough idea of where we'll be stopping, but a lot of it's going to be driven by demand for you know, speaking, um, for sponsors, you know, for events. And, um, you know, I hope to have a good time, too, because we've been preparing for two years now. We thought it would take six months, like the around the world trip along the equator did, but it's proved to be so much more difficult, and there's so many challenges with Antarctica. Oh, wow. So and when is it, when are you actually going to start the trip right now? We're hoping to start the trip November 15th of 2019. Great. And uh, things are looking good. We have all the major projects completed, the plane's working well. We're just fine-tuning some things, getting the most capability out of our equipment. Great. Now, you just started using the Lynx, so uh, can you tell us your first impression? Uh, my first impression is that it's awesome. There's a lot of capability in that little box. And, you know, Jody, as you know, we added it because Iridium had asked us to install a transponder with diversity. And that's going to be required soon in Canada, possibly Mexico, and who knows with the United States. But really, that was my single intention. But since I've got the system in the plane, I've been swiping left and right. And, uh, you know, I'm getting the train function now, uh, the traffic function, and uh, certainly all kinds of uh, weather information. And it's a lot in a small box, which is really cool, because I tend to go to that. Because I like to push buttons, and I like the capability. So. And I'm still learning things about it every day. It's a wonderful system. Very good. Well, we wish you much success on your trip, and we're looking forward to tracking you when you get started. So Absolutely. I'd love to be tracked. <laughs> Thank you. All right.